Hey guys, Chris here again. So, uh, as you can see, I've got the reinforcement um, brackets installed, and uh, everything is basically back up to operational. And uh, you can kind of see what it looks like uh, installed. The install went very smooth. Uh, it's very easy to do. Um, I think it's going to help quite a bit. Um, you can see how much more robust all this is up in here now. It's just quite a bit more metal there. And uh, so one thing I had to do was extend my hoses and cables a little bit out of the drag chain. Um, but that wasn't a big deal. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> I haven't cut anything yet. I'm going to uh, check it for tram. Make sure the tram is set. Um, spend a little time trying to get that adjusted so that way um, obviously cutting um, correctly and uh, so anyway this is what it looks like it looks looks pretty good you know it went on really nice I kind of feel feel there's some mass moving there now. Definitely a little more mass moving around. But I think overall, it, uh, it definitely feels a lot more sturdy. Uh, again, I won't know until I do some real cutting with it, but uh, either way, um, it was a pretty easy upgrade, you know? All it takes a couple hours to do, really. Um, don't even have to really take anything apart really that much. Like the, I didn't even have to disconnect my spindle or any of that. I just kind of moved it off to the side and got those brackets in from the back and secured everything back on. You know, no big deal. So, anyway, um, that's, that's all there is to it, guys. I'll be reporting back once I do some real cutting with it and, uh, let you know, um, what I think, if it, if it helped or if it didn't, you know, if it's a waste of time, whatever, I'll be, uh, I got this sheet of aluminum here, I'm gonna have to cut up, and, uh, I guess we'll, uh, We'll see what we can do uh, with it now. This is the kind of stuff that I'm doing, you know. I got this little bracketry, stuff like that, you know, thicker stuff like this. This is half inch, you know. So I find myself doing quite a bit of stuff like that. Um, and I just want more more rigidity and more capable mill like uh, quality um, it's the best as I can get before going with a full blown mill uh, if, if I had to redo this whole thing I may have gone with like three quarter inch on this instead of full inch um, I think the full inch is probably a little overboard, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's probably better to have 
more metal than not enough. I don't know, again, I think this thickness probably would have been fine. Um, I don't know if it was, I probably wouldn't even notice any difference, that extra quarter inch thick. Um, so, got two plates and they're inch thick. So, I theoretically would have lost two inches of Y uh, bed space to work with there. Um, but as you can see, I've got some room to move my wasteboard out. And um, I'm going to relocate. I just kind of threw this. This is my touch plate here for my tools. I'm going to do something better, get that out of the way, and just move my bed up and reclaim what I lost, basically. Uh, so I didn't lose any Y. I gained Z. Um... Oh, and it should be a lot more rigid overall. So I think, I think it was probably overall going to be a good move. Uh, what I did there. So any, again, I'll let y'all know in the future when I get cutting on it. Okay. All right. Take care.